So back, relax, and enjoy another epic episode of Final Fantasy 16. I'm Hasha Plays, and welcome back. Aaron Boyd, no longer. Okay, I've upgraded. I am now the messenger of fate. Um, hopefully. Um, we are continuing our main quest. We're actually going to Northreach right now. But we need to go through, um, uh, Lost Swing, I guess. So, yeah, we need to get up there, so. Yeah, yep. Okay. <sighs> How did the grocer know that his daughter has been stealing off the vineyard and selling to a boy? I don't know. His inventory and his sock um, didn't match. So his inventory was saying 50. His stock was saying 10. It was quite obvious, young man. Matt. Is it safe to ride to Northreach now? Okay, this is actually a new area, so... Excitement. We are actually progressing towards going to the capital. Yes, we are going to go kill a mother crystal. I don't know how the hell you do that. But... Sure, man. Ooh, crummy spiders. Yeah, I do love that ability. Dear God, is it fun. Jumpy, jumpy. Want to go into the water? No, we can't. This game doesn't allow any exploration. Oh, look at this thing. Out of right. Sick of toggle. Not fucking around, boy. Oh yeah, look at that damage. Wait, isn't Jill supposed to be with us? Jill, baby. Yep, yeah, that's what I call skill. I've become so much better at this game. I'm pro level now. That is a lot of Sagadermic Groovy! Woo! Wow, we you would think it was, it was protecting the fucking Duchess treasure room or something. Oh, that was intense! Griffin Head Braid. Meh. That looks interesting. Let's see what that's about, shall we? Um, increases burning blade damage. What, with 7%? That's kinda, that's kinda a lot, man. That's kinda a lot. At this point, we don't actually need more gill. Like, I mean, honestly, we've got 40,000. Unless I see something that I see like it's really expensive, we just don't need it, man. 25% is so much, though. Um, and we don't use Burning Blade all that much, so let's go for something else. Um, and equip pets commands or execute a maniki and Torgo's action will adapt to climbs. The ring at, of timely assistance effects are included to timely effects. Included in the, uh, in the ring of timely strikes. Oh, okay, so this ring isn't timely strikes. I kind of want to put it there, so Torgo will just go crazy on his own. Timely focus. I mean, it's just, it's just with the dog, right? It's not gonna, uh, it's gonna make me ease, make it easier for me. It sort of should. It sort of will, actually, I guess. It's shit, spiders. Keep your distance, boy. You know, back in the east, they call me the spider killer. It's over. For a reason. Chill, dog. It's over, man. Joel was supposed to be with me, I'm sure. <sighs> Maybe I left her behind. Maybe she has eyes for another man. Ooh, it's it's Chocobos. Chucky, 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 Chucky
Not the same thing. Sorry. A what? A dragon head, huh? Oh, they little dragons. We're dragons. Why are they called Dragonettes and not Dragonlings? Oh, that's a big ass dragon. Oh. Dragon Avis. Isn't Avis like a character from Fairy Tale? That doesn't actually increase my damage that much. It does give me a lot of uh, HP regen, but which is kind of cool. Eat shit, you fucking dragon! Oh, it's dead. Take it easy, Clive. Breathe, Clive. Breathe! Ooh! It's dead. Yeah, it's dead. Okay. It's dead. It's over. We're done. Um... Kirnovant Glostial Skates. There's Mulburn. Can't go in. There's another area down there. There's the Rivergate. Can't go there. Um... The Holy Eye. Can't go there. Um... The Imperial Chase. Can't go there. So I guess we just go directly towards where we need to go and just get it over and done with. Our wargans. I want to do this when we get like three of them. Yes, I got two. Damn it. Kind of missed the last one. Okay, okay. Damn boy. This dog is actually kind of brutal, you know? You don't realize it until you have that timely thing on for the dog, and I don't mind having it on. Like, people ain't gonna tell me I'm bad at this game. I know I'm bad at this game. You ain't telling me shit that I don't know. Nice game, bro. Items. So many items. It's Chocobos! Ah. Uh, soldiers used to speak of a brothel. That was north of the checkpoint. I hope the dame has friends in the south. It smells so delightful. Give me one of those hams. We'll be fish, good. fish. I'm just All walking casually because I'm table. awesome. Hey, don't walk in front of me, bro. I'll kill you. We've reds, whites, ales, mead, ciders, perries, murrays. With the right to confiscate any objects forbidden by the throne. Not another step, branded, or you'll be spending the night in a cell. Yeah, man. Oh, damn. The fruit's not getting any fresher. Do you see anything you like? Yeah, your breasts. Rare clamshell. Meh, you're so crafty. Meh. Don't want it. Don't need it. <sighs> um. Yeah. I'll be here if you need me. Is this her? A 
moment, my lady. A moment? <laughs> I doubt you could afford even that much of my time. Branded. My mistake. No, mine. Upon reflection, you don't have the scent of a branded about you. The flowers. Otto always did know how to please me. More than Sid ever did anyway. Do you think you could please me? Not interested. I... You're the dame. Let us leave such impersonal titles to my less preferred clientele. You can call me Isabel. Otto assured me I could trust you. I can trust you, can't I? You can trust me, yes, but... Why would you... Help you? Because that's what we do. Long ago, Sid did me a kindness when no one else would. I have never forgotten that. Without it, I would not be where I am today. And so, I make it a point to do the same whenever possible. Which brings us here. To the final obstacle between you and whatever it is you seek in the holy capital. I fear the guards are not likely to let a master I seek my mother unmolested. I miss her Unless. embrace. Her warm bosom. Unless. <laughs> Unless, of course, his master deigned to appear. Yes. That will do nicely. But... I shall expect a favor in return. Wait, what? He wants it up the ass, Clive. Wow, she walks quickly. Nope. Nothing. What the hell are you doing? Tut tut. We cannot have people thinking I tolerate disobedience from my branded. The men who gave me this are no more my masters than you are. But... It's not as if I can hide it. From the moment you acquired it, that brand has done naught but take. But today, it is going to give you exactly what you want. Just play along. Madame, back to the veil already? But of course, we must make ready to welcome you, my dear. And who might this be? Why, my new escort. The streets aren't safe for a girl, what with all the royalists about. <laughs> well, don't work him too hard. Well, that rather depends on you now, doesn't it? I'll see you all at sunset. Oi, hold up. <sighs> Another fucking branded. Oh, you're lucky you're with the dame. Get out of my sight, filth. I don't know what's the reason to hate Branded so much, you know? I don't know, a mistake. We were born like this. That wasn't so bad. Wasn't so bad. They might have recognized me. But they didn't. And even if they had, they wouldn't have done anything about it. The gentlemen of the garrison are some of my best customers. We have an arrangement, as do you and I. Now, if you'd care to follow me, we can speak more at the Vale. Doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. Well, gentlemen. Clive might be losing his virginity, eventually. Possibility here. 
And if anyone requests her company, tell them she is feeling unwell. Madame, you look stunning. As do you, my dear. Shall I have one of the girls draw a bath? That won't be necessary. Clive, my darling. Welcome to the Vale. Let's see. The Vale. Northreach Premier House of Companionship. Well, you know what that means, adultery. While it is frequently mainly um main need by Samarkay's nobility and military, Lady Isabel welcomes all with the desire and the coin to partake of the pleasures pleasures her skilled courtesans and courtiers offer. Few establishments in the Empire are well loved or as oft visited. <laughs> A brothel in a uh, more, Thank let's you say, um, gates, formal lady. tongue. I am in your debt. Well, that was the whole point, wasn't it? And I told you, it's Isabel. Whatever wound you so tight, I wonder. It's certainly not Sid's influence. You uh, mentioned a favor. What is it you'd have me do? I don't want to keep my companions waiting. If you mean Sid and the girl, you needn't worry. They have yet to reach the checkpoint. Yes, Otto asked me to help them as well. But to answer your question, I need you to find someone for me. One of my girls. Tatienne has been gone for several days now, having left no word of explanation. And I've begun to fear the worst. I feel as if I've spent my whole life searching for people. No, I can't say I'm any good at it. I trust you'll do your best. Oh, and take this. Another seal? Yep. You accept the moon and stars from Miss Bell. <laughs> Proof of that trust. And hopefully enough to keep prying eyes from looking too closely at that handsome face of yours. Now, I have matters to attend to at the Iron Flagon. If you find anything, ask for me there. Sure, we're getting paid, which is the best kind of uh, quest, and it seems only main quests are paying me. I should probably start here. Yes, let me start here. Let me go inside. Let me go visit and uh, peruse your antiquities, as they would say. There's some side quests. Oh, side questing, I shall go. You wear the dame's brooch. She must trust you. Enough to have me look for one of your colleagues. A woman by the name of Tatienne. She's still missing then. Oh, if only I'd comforted her. You saw her before she disappeared? The day before. She was in tears. She'd lost her comb. A gift from the dame. It wasn't anything fancy, but you could tell it meant the world to her. You see, Tatienne was an orphan. And she looked upon the dame as a mother. As do we all. So she was upset. And I didn't lend her much older. But perhaps someone else did. Tatian shared a room. Her chambermate may have seen something. She's over there, sitting by the pond. Thank you. A chambermate. Let's see what her chambermate can tell us then. So you're the new escort the girls have been talking about. And you've already been sent off on an errand, eh? Poor boy. You'll be knackered before the real work begins later on tonight. I'm told you share a bedchamber with Tatian. Did she say anything to you before? Before she went missing. Only that she needed to meet with someone. She did mention a name, but I know exactly who she meant. You do? Lad from the garrison. Annoying little shit. Spent every gill he earned on Tatian. And picked fights with anyone else who tried to buy her time. Followed her around like a lost puppy. Tatienne was flattered at first, but it didn't take long for her to get scared. She thought about saying something. But the dame was so proud of her for how much she was bringing in, and she didn't want to let her down. 
This man from the garrison. Did you ever see him? Of course I did. He tried to sneak into our room enough times. Slimy Sod's got a scar over one eye. Claims he got it in battle. You've been very helpful. Don't let him get away with this. Find him, and you'll find her. A man from the garrison. Seems a trip to the barracks is in order. It seems that uh, people in this day and age are more pussy whipped than you would expect. Oh, treasure. Doing all this for just pussy? That'd be crazy, man. Just want to check the scenery and the surroundings. See if I can find some treasures. Maybe I should just leave. Maybe I should just leave. Fuck this shit, I'm gone! Oriflam, how many bearers suffer to keep your granaries full? I should go kill some chocobo, shouldn't I? Just a few. And then we'll get back to whatever that place is. Oh, chocobos! Die, you incessant bird. Kick me. <laughs> Die, you incessant turkey bird. We're eating KFC tonight, boys. Oh, I leveled up because of it. <laughs> I'm proud of myself. Okay. Ah, uh, let me go find the hooker. I guess. Hold on, I'll kill these things as well. I'm doing people a service. As you've noticed by now, um, and I'm not using Garuda anymore. It's no damage, it's stupid abilities. It's just a waste of time switching to Garuda. Um, the only time I'll switch to Garuda is when I can knock down bigger enemies. When I break them in, when I get them to staggered, no, when I get them to weighted or whatever it's called. Ow, oh, look at that crystal over there. That's kind of cool. So that is the crystal of light. Don't know which one that is. I mean, if you look at the map, we should be able to determine, right? The crystal of light sits over there. Can I zoom out? No, oh, man. Fuck you. Zoom. I can only zoom in. <laughs> look. I can zoom in with this. But I can't zoom out. Okay, so. I guess it's not a mother crystal, but it sits right here. No, it sits, sits right there, but it's not a mother crystal. Huh. Okay. Whatever. Oh, side questing. We shall go to see whatever these motherfuckers want. Ah, you want a sparring match. Oh, sir, knight, sir, you, holy emperor, soldier, scholar person. Something, something. Sergeant's got it in for us, too. Let me see this chest here. Or just item. It's something. A sharp fang. Toggle, I found your tooth. Where's your commanding officer branded? Don't you know the training grounds are for real soldiers? Hey, you lost or something? Sorry, but the Imperial Guard's got no use for your kind. The infantry always needs more bodies, though. I'm just passing through. But I don't bloody believe it. The bastard's wearing the moon and stars. That'll be why he's strutting about like he owns the place. Damn right I do. They laughed when we offered her our protection. You reckon this prick's really worth a couple of the Emperor's finest? <laughs> I dare say there's ways of finding out. How about it, Branded? Care to show us how you earned that brooch? Um, I'd rather not. Hell yeah. Oh, no doubt. Only chivalrous souls that we are. Robin and I need to know the dame's being properly looked after. Oh yeah, let's do this. 
fine. If it'll put your mind at ease. Oh, and just so you know, I won't be holding back. I suggest you don't either. Take a moment to get ready if you need it. Wouldn't want you whining about Oh well, today the garrison loses two more soldiers. And guard. Come on, I see this, bro. No. If that's what you want. <laughs> Cocky bastard. All right. Let's be having you. Like, I'm not even cocky, I'm just being like, no, I don't want to do this. You're like, no, we really should. And then you, you're calling me cocky, you're the only one that's over cocky. Your cockiness is cockiness over my oh, cockiness. and when you go crying to your mistress, tell her it was Leon who gave you the power. Probably gonna one-shot this guy, right? Use all the dirty tricks you want, right? So you know one end of a You're gonna do something, bro? <sighs> Fuck me. Indeed. What the hell are you playing at, Leon? Huh. So it's a real challenge he wants, is it? Fine. Oh God, please. Sword up, bearer. Let's have some fun, shall we? Ah, oh, come on. Had a bearer win the dame's favor anyway. By knowing when to hold my tongue for the start. Let's bear around with him a bit, shall we? Come on. You got potential. I give you that. Come on, bro. Fight and do something. Oh, well. Whatever. That was as boring as boring would ever get boring. It's like, Jesus, just knock me out or something. Can I go now? Gregor's gash. The bastard didn't even break a sweat. The dame's man or no, he's still a branded. Best hope the sergeant never hears about this. Yeah, not after the bullet he gave us for missing drills. Might be the old side at a point. I'll leave you to it. Yeah, good bloody riddance. <sighs> at least we know the dame's in safe hands, I suppose. Do us a favor. If you have to tell the dame about this, tell her we got a good few hits in, eh? Why? You're paying for their service. I doubt if you tell them. If I tell them you got in a few hits, they'll give you any better service than you're getting from your grill anyway. So I don't see any purpose to doing any of that. So the answer is a solid ass no. Heard the bones fell favorably to the veil then. Did you see the, how I beat those guys' asses? Um, daily regimen, roll call, morning prayer, rounds, the striking dummies, midday rations. The butts, ten quivers, armored, sparing, sparring. Kit maintenance, groundskeeping, roll call once again. Roll call seems to be very important to these people. I, I don't know how a bearer came by the moon and stars, but thank goodness I found you. Can I trust you to be discreet? Didn't I find him? About what? About this. About what I wish to ask of you. About the fact that I, a humble creature, assist the Dame of the Vale in her endeavors. As unlikely as it may seem, there are those within the upper echelons of Sambraquois society who find the Empire's treatment of bearers to be barbaric. All right. But what do you want from me? This town is carried upon the backs of its bearers. And yet many would see their servants starve. Not for the want of coin. Simple fare costs little more than a pittance. But to revel in the suffering of others. A simple act of cruelty. 
Contemptible though it is, my countrymen would sooner cut off their noses to spite their faces than see their bearers fed. And despite my best attempts at secrecy, my efforts to dole out comestibles have been noticed. Which brings me to my request. The brand upon your cheek affords you a certain freedom, a freedom I could sorely use. Sure. Yeah. For a thousand gil, Fine. I'll lick your feet. What do you need me to do? Oh, thank you. An extra meal may not seem like much, but it will make all the difference. Here, deliver these, but keep them hidden. Quickly now. What food I can provide goes where the need is greatest. And today, that happens to be the barracks. Three bearers, overworked and underfed, not permitted a moment's rest. It's no wonder so many die before their time. Tragic, true, but do not let anger make you careless. People will view this act of mercy as an undermining of the Empire's authority. Be discreet for both our sakes, and for the sake of those we feed. Oh, and when you're finished, a word in the ear of one of the dame's girls would be appreciated. You won't be staying, then? I'm afraid not. I am expected back in the capital, and have already risked much speaking with you this long. Man, again, if we had to go with a very formal tongue, Crystal's curse is I'm just a glorified goddamn serving well. boy again. Hey, do you want your food? Do you want some drinks with that? How about Coke? No, you don't want a Coke beer? How about some lemonade? Are you waiting for it to heal on its own? Hurry up! Looks like now's not the time. Well, I guess he'll stay hungry a bit longer. I have something for you. Bear comestibles. From the Chamberlain. Thank you. You need to leave. Now. Please. Branded! Who told you to rest? Stow those damn flames! And you! If you've got a message for me, out with it. If not, return to your post. Let me just point it out so that, that it's easy to be understood. I will kill everyone in this town, and I will get into my bed and I will sleep like a goddamn rock. No hesitation, no movements, no second thoughts, just absolute dreaming all the way until morning come. You look like you need a rest. Half as much as I need this. Thank you. I don't eat it here, though. Not where anyone might see. Has it always been this bad? Oh, it was worse before the Chamberlain. I'd be dead without him. Me and many others. That's something at least. Well, that's unfortunate. Next time, if you know what's good for you. Here, it looks like you need it. Food prepared by the Mafiui. Mafiui. For three overworked and underfed, underfed, underfed bearers employed in the North Reach garrison. Okay. I just wanted to read the details. In an interview, they said that everything Some about the law is in the items. You must just read the items. My work is far from over. If I don't go now, they'll beat me. 
You need to rest. But I won't. I have wounds to heal and bones to mend. And what of your own hurts? Then wait. That's all my hunger. Thank you, though. Androva has more regard for his cattle than the Empire does its bearers. Anyway, I'd better head to the Vale. That isn't a main quest right here. Yeah, I don't have to give it in immediately. I can just, like, do everything and then go give it all in together. I heard the bones fell favorably. I'm looking for a man with a scar over his eye. Looking for a man? Does this look like a brothel, Branded? Fuck off. Hold your tongue. He wears the dame's brooch. One word from him and the Vale's doors will be barred to us for good. <sighs> There's only one man in the garrison with a dodgy eye. His name's Yannick. I haven't seen him around lately, though. On account of him being in war. Yeah, yeah, Yannick left a few days back. Said he had dealings with a merchant there. The dame, thank you. Moor is the last village on the road to Oriflam. I should let Isabel know where I'm headed. Nope, we have one more side quest to do, and then we can go to that shit. Excuse me, you there, the gentleman with the sword. I cannot help but notice you bear the moon and stars. So you are an associate of the dames? Might I trouble you for some assistance? You'll be rewarded, of course. And who exactly would I be assisting? Oh, forgive me. I am Etienne, a humble merchant. Though fortunate enough to count the dame among my acquaintances. I have business beyond these walls, but the guards have grown somewhat suspicious of my comings and goings of late. I was hoping someone might be kind enough to go in my stead. And who better than someone in the employ of the Vale's proprietress? Would you be willing to help a fellow in his hour of need? What the girl? Like I said, I'll suck Why your not? feet. I lick right in between them. The task is simple enough. Pass the through the gate and deliver packages to a few of my most valued clients. There are three in total. A grocer, an apothecary, and a distiller. You need only mention that the items you carry are... fresh from the master's table. Nothing dangerous, I hope. Why, of course not. Uh, merely trifles, which folk beyond the checkpoint are keen to get their hands on. And though I cannot prevent you from peeking, I advise that you don't. Strongly advise. Sure, man. It's what I'm here for. It's what I've been doing all along. Being some boy, uh, I'm some person's errand boy. That's what I meant to say. So that's all I am. Oh, damn. Clive, tell me you bear good tidings. That remains to be seen. I definitely did not intend to interact with her, I promise. Oh, Tatiana, you could have told me. This Yannick. The soldiers I spoke to believe he's in the village of Moor. According to them, he claimed to have some business with a merchant there. Though that wouldn't explain his continued absence. And you plan on traveling to Moor to ascertain the truth? Isn't that what you want? Oh, it, it is. But I fear sending you there may cause more harm than good. The people of Moor are rather set in their ways. You'll find they have little love for bearers, and they will not hesitate to report one such as you to the constabulary. There is a man in Moor who owes me a favor, more than one in fact. His name is Bertrand, and he works at the stables. Tell him I send you. I shall return as soon as I find something. Does every NPC that's a quest giver, that's done, right? 
Do they all have people that just owes them favors? It's just how this world works. Oh, well, I have 10 people that owes me a favor. It just so happens to be I one of the people that's going to help you in your quest. Yes. Mm -hmm. How absolutely convenient. There's nothing here for your kind, Branded. Go on now. Shoot. I have a delivery from Etienne. Fresh from the master's table. Every chance and jostle of this unexceptional leather sack is accompanied by an eerily melodic um, tinkling that is likely best ignored. Okay. Why didn't you say so? <laughs> Times are hard. But this here will make them less so. For a while at least. Sorry about the welcome. I meant nothing by it. You wait right here. You're telling me that they couldn't animate that where he goes into the thing and yeah. scratch something? You can tell Etienne I'm a man of my I mean, work. search for something and give it to me. Perfume. Oroflam's finest. Just as promised. Oh, he's buying shit from them. But he can't get past. I have no business with Branded. Well, I have business with you. A package. Fresh from the master's table. I do not know you. Where is the merchant, Etienne? Somewhere the gate guards won't be paying him or his affairs any mind. Fine. Hand over the goods and be gone. Can I deny? No, I can't. This is... Lighter than usual. Branded, if I discover you have played me false, I can always take it back. You will do no such thing. Your master should cut out your insolent tongue. Had you been the tool of any other man, I would see you clapped in chains. Payment. Take it and get out of my sight. What a colorful man. Those cigars are worth more than your life do be careful i'm lord clive rossfield from azaria i i could have you clasp in chains like oh my god let me guess i have no business but a branded i warn you now i don't sell to your kind whether you have the coin or not where's your master anyway Etienne sent me. Didn't know he had his own bearer. Business must be booming. All right. Quickly now, before the guards notice. <sighs> that is no burden off my back. And this is for Etienne. All this for a drink. Not just any drink. The very best. Specially distilled for my most discerning customers. The guards find that. They'll seize it before you can blink. You keep it well hidden. All right. Yeah, I'll just jam, it, jam it down my Tell trousers. Where that came from. I'll just pretend it's my fucking long cock. Of course. They would never notice this big as bottle. Perfume, cigars, and spirits. Someone has expensive tastes. The question is, how can they afford to maintain them? I suppose there's only one way to find out. Uh, report to the Vale. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's out of sight, Chris. Guess we can do this quickly. Why not? Alright. Are you here for business or pleasure? Or both. Business, though not my own. The Chamberlain put me to work delivering food. Ah, so he found someone to help him then. Just as well, I'm here for a tip. his friends back at court have been taking a little too much interest in him of late. So he really is a Chamberlain. There was a time when he was the Val's most illustrious customer. Us girls thought of him as a generous uncle. He was one of the only people around here who seemed bothered by the way the Empire treats its bearers. Rare for one in his position. A fact not wasted on the dame. 
A little nudge from her is all it took, and he became the patron saint of Northreach's starving masses. My sisters and I may have lost an uncle, but bearers are being fed for a change, so we don't grumble. <laughs> Much. Glad to hear it. Gives you faith, though, doesn't it? To know there are people out there like him. And you, for that matter. It's no wonder the dame's got a soft spot for you. <laughs> I... better be going. Well, at least we got some gill out of it, so I'm happy. Only a thousand, but, you know, we're losing 250 for each quest. Fuck. That's a lot. Hey, the toggle. You know, I haven't noticed you in a while. You get oh. Well, we got a trophy out of that, so I guess that's a mission complete. Dun, 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 Ah, you have returned. I believe these are yours. Delightful. The dame will be pleased. You don't say. And would she be pleased to learn what you had to exchange for those items? You mean the crystals? No need to be coy, my boy. Why not just tell me in the first place? An honest man wears deception like shackles about his ankles. I couldn't risk you stumbling under the gaze of the guards. After all, we both know the punishment for dealing in unsanctioned crystals, even such morsels as I provide. And if you don't know what this day's work may have cost you, then, well, I dare say you'll sleep all the better for it. Despite the risk, our friends beyond the wall gladly give their finest and most treasured wares for the paltry crumbs I trade in. I didn't realize crystals were so scarce here. As scarce as chocobo teeth, hence the thriving market for even the scantest fragments. Do you think it vulgar that I profit from the hardship of others? I think you're doing what you believe is necessary. Yeah, indeed. And I don't doubt the dame would agree. A reward for a job well done. I have the goods I was commissioned to gather, and the guards are none the wiser. I thank you. As will our mutual friend when she hears of how you evaded me. Another thousand guilt. That's all we get. Okay, finally we can do the main quest. Dear God, these people talk a lot. I might see you tonight. Oh, just jump over this little fence, please. Oh, please. Oh, come on. Clive. You break my heart. Okay, I guess we can sprint straight towards as the as the bird flies That's enough for today branded Oh, well, we can kill a few things. I haven't murdered or butchered something in quite some time. Get him. I'm try getting to the third dog. Yeah, I just parried him, didn't I? Good job, Toggle. That's my dog. Great job. Oh, more side quests. Oh, these side quests are these side quests are tiring me, man. The the amount of dialogue that these side quests give is ridiculous. It's literally making me fall asleep. I'm not even joking. I mean, that's serious. I 
I like how this guy talks to me. You know, I wish if I swung my sword, I would kill him right now. You're late. What kept you? Late for what? Did they tell you nothing? A wild beast is savaging my boy. Well, don't just stand there gawping. Rescue him. It doesn't give any gill. I don't know. Whatever. All right. Where is he? My. I see they've sent me a branded with a spine for a change. He's over that way, towards the coast. Go and see that you kill the beast. Sure, man. Hey, that's the first fat person I've met in this entire game. Oh, I'm quaint. Son's in mortal danger. He didn't seem all that worried. Nope. Something's not right here. I need to be careful. Of the wolf! It's going to eat me! Not if I can help it. Stay back. I'll deal with this. There, yeah, boy! That's enough! Get your damn wolf. Get him, boy! That's enough! It said grab a dog, a wolf. And I can't see what's wrong with this, but okay. No! You weren't supposed to kill Wolfie. You were supposed to die. Father will have you whipped for this. Bearers aren't supposed to win. They never win. What is this? Your father said you were being attacked. You're not supposed to talk. Stop looking at me like that. We were only having fun. Having fun? Why are you still speaking? Father will hear of this. Okay, I get it. They pretend the boy is in danger and then the barrier that is sent to help gets killed. The wolf's work, no doubt. But it's not the wolf that's to blame. Please, let me just kill this guy. Someone needs to put an end to this before it happens again. Please let me kill him. Please. They said this is Game of Thrones. It was inspired by Game of Thrones, but nothing is Game of Thrones. Treating people badly is not Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones was a sadistic, wonderful, beautiful show about mature shit and killing. Hey, Brandy, come here this instant. How? Dare you frighten my son? You slaughter his poor pet and then have the gall to return, head held high. That wolf was trained. Better trained by far than your worthless kind. You are the entertainment, nothing more. And we are most certainly not entertained. Nor am I. You'll pay for what you've done. See, I told you, he talks too much. It's not right. I don't like him, father. You're not the branded I bought, are you? How dare you deceive me? Well, the sins of the slave are the sins of the master. Go, summon the unlucky wretch you answer to. That wretch would be me. That unlucky wretch would be me. I'm my own master. I'm beholden to no one. And I take orders from no one. Lies! Do you think I cannot see that brand on your face? Shut your mouth and listen. Those bearers you killed, they were people. They felt fear and pain, just as you do. And unless you wish to share in their suffering, you would do well to remember we are not your playthings. Father, he's scaring me. How dare you threaten us? How dare you? Can't we just buy another hound? A bigger one, a better one? Of course, my son. I'll have the villagers fetch us another. With jaws powerful enough to nip this branded's head 
clean off his shoulders. I'm wasting my time. But I can't just leave those bearers lying out there. They deserve a proper burial. That much I can do at least. I don't understand. How many bearers have lost their lives to this nobleman's sport? That nobleman obviously just announced that he's gonna do it again. He's gonna get a bigger dog, a much stronger one, and just do what he's just done again. And Clive is just letting them go. Like it means nothing. This makes no sense to me, honestly. All victims of the nobles' games. You must be Clive. How do you know my name? The dame. I'm in her service. Like yourself. Never gets any easier burying the dead. Is that what you're here to do? The mistress has me see to it that none are left to the crows. Since you're here, can you give me a hand? Gladly. Let's put them to rest. Burden finally be lifted. I take it you slew the nobleman's pet? I did. Now I expect they'll find another soon enough. And when it gets here, all bearers will die. How can they think so little of sending us to the slaughter? Simple. Because you are not them. Bearers are tools when they're needed. And toys when they're not. And if one breaks, well, you can always buy another. Still, such attitudes don't always go unpunished. Is this your doing? Of course not. Wolves kill. It's in their nature. Invite one into your home. It's gonna tear your throat out eventually. Same with bearers. Fed or not, they don't lack for fangs. What will folk do when they bite back, I wonder? The realm's less too murderous bastards, and I won't mourn the loss. Here. For their help. <laughs> you don't have to. Take it. You never know. Our paths may cross again. Till then. <laughs> he just had the um the nobleman's killed. What? The world lost. Just what did I get? Where at again? Is it where at? No, I, I didn't get. Uh, ma ma magic dash. Wonderful. Just what I wanted. More magic dash. I want to see their dead bodies. Well, there's blood there. No bloody bodies. Oh well. Okay, well, unfortunately, we're going to leave this episode here. That's uh, another episode of side questing and just, Jesus, man, it takes forever. So they weren't kidding when they would say they expanded the side quests a lot the further you progress into the game, of course. Um, there's still a few things we're, we're looking at, to, obviously, to find out who the other young man is. Uh, when we can start doing the beast hunts. Hopefully, it is in this game. They did say it is. Um, so yeah, hopefully that comes sooner or then later, because uh, that's what I want to do. Uh, if you like it, please do leave a like, do subscribe if you're not. And as always, express your freedom of speech in the comment section down below. Thank you so much. Goodbye.